hello everyone you are welcome to my, back to my channel in this tutorial i'm going to explain to you how you can create a questionnaire by using kobo tools box website kobo tools box is a website that is being designed to enable user to create a questionnaire especially electronic questionnaire that you can collect data from your phones or your gadgets now let's start now this is Kobo to support website the first thing you are going to do if you don't have account with them you are come here to create an account and if you have account just click on sign in now this is the form for Kobo tools box now this website is kobo.humanitarianresponse.info now i'm going to input my names that's my real name my organization now my username i can put here my username should be soapy boy then you have to put your email to then the sectors um what type of the thing you do in in this uh, in your organization you can put this is what i normally do then also i'm from nigeria then you have to fill the form after you fill the form yeah the form has been successfully created then activation link has been sent to your email what you have to do is just go to your email box and confirm the activation link here now i have go click activation on my email the next thing is just try to go back here I have activate it on my links then I log in again see it has been activated this is your dashboard now in this your dashboard all what you need to do is just to click on this new when you click on new which type of form if you want to use a template they have many templates it will load a template that means the only one that uh, any work you have to done that you have saved it will load it but now let's build from scratch now under this scratch you have to input your type project type 2 let's see project 1 project 1 now description my final project you have to enter description of your project then the area of your project you can put anyone then the country you have to select the country of your project execution here i um, want to put nigeria now after that then you click on create project now the project has been successfully created now all what you have to do is we have to input our form now for example now i want to collect data on user user information what is your name now after this one should be your question and then under add question is going to be the area that you are going to provide so that for the user to input their answer now this one is just we have to click on add we have different type of uh, forms that the user can answer the question just put text now under this text when you come here to the settings when you click on settings you see this is the column name this is how the column will appear now is it mandatory for the user I mean for the data you want to collect so that it will not be able to skip 
then you have to click yes here and when you click yes under this advanced we have multiple numbers and orders just leave it like that also we have some settings here when you when you finish you click save it has been saved then you can add uh -huh, age then you have to put text again then this text you can come to the settings here and make it appearance should be number then after that you save after savings then also you have to come here again we want to add another uh, another form um, marita status status now here we want to make it an option so that we call it select one under the select one you can create select one option you can see single and also married then if you want to add to it you can see order then if you want to make it maybe to be compulsory then remember to come and mark mandatory response now we have created two forms here we can still continue on our data um education levy education level so this form two you can make it as say, select one then here you can put secondary you can put degree degree then you can put hnd then also you can add o and d let's say these are the option you want to choose then make sure you put this one as what mandatory response now let's assume you want to capture picture of uh, the user now you see picture or pass photograph photograph under this photograph when you select add question here you have to select image photos and um, also after doing that you can still continue and in this case we can also add under this option we have maybe you want to get the user location so you can get this one by using gps point to get the location now these are the different type of form you can see under this uh, project so it depends on the type of information you want to collect from the user now you have to save here after savings now let's try to preview our work you can see you can preview your form here the form is loading now this is how your form will look like what is your form you see this star that is means it's mandatory age education level then your gps status also now when you save like this the next thing you are going to do is you are going to deploy the project you see under draft we have project one it's because i have not deployed it so it will not show it as a deploy project now next thing you have to do if you want to edit you have to come back here to edit if you want to preview this way you are going to preview it and then if you want to replace this form with another form this this section you are going to come now after finish all your uh, forms you prepare all the forms information you need from the user now the next thing is to deploy your project just click on deploy 
deploying to Kobo. Now the form has been successfully deployed. Now, after you finish deploying, then the next thing here is you are going to collect the data. Is it offline? Is it few only? Or Android application? In my next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use a the popular app the popular app uh, known as odk collect so that you can use odk collect on your android phone to to collect the data thank you for watching the video